the basic area we're looking at is this issue of the Southeast. Simon Ekwa. So this individual has become a menace to this country. Order. Samuel Ekba has become a menace to this country. So the country must act on it diplomatically. Finland is having a free way, encouraging him to do what he's doing. By his utterances and his actions, he's affecting what is happening in Nigeria. We should never allow that, sir. So I think our foreign service need to step in to address such issues. It's either we invite the, uh, the, the ambassador or somebody, they must explain why they are protecting him. And he's doing us more harm because by his utterances, a lot of people are being killed. We cannot sit back and just keep quiet. Another aspect of the judiciary is this. You do all your efforts. You make an arrest. You hand over before the man is released on bail. Now you have risked yourself in doing that. By the time he's released, he goes to tell the people who you are and then your family members or you are at risk. So it gets to a stage where the security forces are not even willing to do it because once you get an arrest, the person is released. We have the issue in the south-south. A lot of the ships, we had, the last ship, the other ship that was arrested, was arrested 10 years ago. It was arrested, it was handed over. The ship went and changed its name, changed its color, and came back again. 10 years later, we arrested the same ship. And by the time you hand over the ship, before you know it, it's released. We have also realized that the magic wand to address security challenges, good governance. Anywhere you have good governance, security goes down. Insecurity goes down. Without which is a problem. The security forces can only provide 30%. We can only provide the enabling environment. If other aspects are not addressed, it is a problem. Security is not only military security. We have food security, health security, social security, education security. So all these play vital roles into achieving what we're doing. So if we don't put these things in place through good governance, it becomes a problem. We also looked at the issue of increase in salaries. I know increase of salaries is bringing a lot of issues, but I think for a private soldier in the army, it takes less than 50,000 for all the work he's doing, and I think it's not adequate. On the issue of uh, allowance RCA, ration cash allowance, where we feed, from myself as a general to the last soldier, I'm being fed on 1,500 Naira per day. Nigeria, based on our strategic position in the Gulf of Guinea, sees the entire Gulf of Guinea as our maritime area of interest. And therefore, we have a larger role even beyond our exclusive economic zone. Now, this maritime area of interest and our maritime environment is the treasure base of the nation's resources, starting from oil and gas to fisheries and other mineral resources, then including the fact that it constitutes a major trade route of course, we all know here that over 80% of all trade between Nigeria and other countries are based on seaborne trade. A police force that has been battered, a police force that has suffered serious neglect over the past few years, the police also finds itself operating in very difficult environment, partly as a result, as a direct consequences of this neglect. The manpower in the police today is grossly inadequate. Even the criminals know that. The United Nations ratio of one to 400 is not attainable in Nigeria as of today because the ratio in Nigeria is 1 to 1,000, 1, which suggests that we have to double the manpower in the police and over.